Hi, and welcome to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Today, I'm participating in a grocery haul collaboration co-hosted by Kat of Southern Farm and Kitchen and Tamara of Southern Wife Everyday Life. There's also a lot of other awesome ladies participating in this collaboration. In my description box, I'll make sure to list Kat and Tamara's channels as well as the entire playlist so you can check out all the grocery hauls from all the other ladies. So today I went to Trader Joe's and spent $97 and some change, so let me jump right in. So I grabbed their Tuscan Kale, organic Tuscan Kale. I really love this and buy it pretty much every time I go. I like to saute this with cabbage, um, kind of like a stir fry, and it's so good. I also grabbed some Brussels sprouts. My husband and I love Brussels sprouts. We like to saute them with bacon. And green onions is something I always like to have on hand, so I grabbed some of those. And then I grabbed some um, shredded cabbage mix with green, red cabbage, and carrots. And I usually use these for egg rolls in a bowl. And then I grabbed some broccoli slaw. Now, I, broccoli slaw is something that I very rarely buy, but I did wanna try using it in some stir fries or something. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. We really like their um, pot stickers, and I got a pork pot sticker and a chicken pot sticker, and also grabbed some pork buns for my husband. He really likes these a lot, and this is what they look like. You just steam them. You go back up here. I also grabbed some broccoli and a head of cabbage as well. I grabbed myself a Greek salad to have during the lunch, during um, lunch, for lunch during the week, easy for me to say. I'm probably gonna throw some grilled chi chicken in there as well. I grabbed my favorite mandarin orange chicken. I avoided buying this for a really long time because I thought that it would be sweet and it's not. It has a really good savory flavor, so I grabbed that. I also grabbed this shiitake mushroom chicken for the first time. Now, I avoided buying this in the past because I really do not like edamame. And as you can see, it's in there. I read the back of it today and it looks like the vegetable packet is separate from everything else. So it'd be pretty easy for me to remove the edamame, so I decided to give it a try. I grabbed some of these supplement drops. I've never seen them before, but these are cranberry herb vitamin C supplement drops. I think they were 99 cents. So I'm excited to give them a try. Let me show you what's in there. So it looked pretty good, especially with uh, flu season coming up. And then I also grabbed their cinnamon coffee cake. This is something that I've had before. My husband and I really like it a lot and it tastes homemade, so grab that for breakfast. And then I also am um, trying this out for the first time. It's a hot pepper sauce, um, fermented chili peppers. Let me show you the back and show you what's in there. And it says that you can use it, um, like toss it in pasta sauce, stuff like that. So I've got to look up some recipes and try to figure out what to do with it. It just looked really good to me. And then I also grabbed some of this barbecue 101 seasoning for the first time today as well. I grabbed a couple of smoothies for my one-year-old son. I grabbed peach and wild berry. He really likes these a lot. And I really like their French green beans, so I needed another bag of those. Grabbed some cheese tortellini. I do all sorts of things with cheese tortellini from um, making like this Alfredo dish to soups, you name it, I like it. Also trying out this chicken sausage for the first time and this is garlic and herb and it looked really good. So I wanted to try it out. And then I have heard great things about their meat style lasagna, or I'm sorry, family style meat lasagna. I heard it tastes really close to homemade. And so I decided to buy this for those nights that I just don't feel like cooking. Another new item for me is this pizza. I think it's Parlano. It is their version of a Supreme pizza and I heard it's really good. And then um, this tart is a staple for us. I like to pop this in the oven for a quick lunch. We both really like it a lot. And then I also grabbed some of these oatmeal raisin cookies. They are crunchy 
And if you're not a big raisin fan like me, the, the pieces of raisin are raisins are so small, you really don't notice them too much, and they are so good. I love a crunchy cookie. And then another new purchase for me is this organic Italian um, salad dressing. So I've been into the um, Olive Garden salad dressing, salad dressing recently. So I wanted to give this a try to see how it is. Mm -hmm. And then another new item is this double chocolate almond flour cookie mix, gluten-free. I'm not gluten-free, um, but it sounded interesting. And here are the ingredients right there and then another staple for us is this rice orzo pilaf mix we really like it a lot so i always grab it whenever i go and then the very last thing that i grabbed um, are these cheddar rocket crackers that are supposed to be very similar to goldfish i got these for my son he loves goldfish and i'm hoping that he will like these too so this is everything that I grabbed on my haul today. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Don't forget to check out the playlist. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.